Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about sales commissions. There's essentially three different screens to calculate commissions. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the AR preferences. So under AR preferences, you have a couple of options. Your salesperson commission can be by invoice or by payment. So typically we have it set up for payment, which is if the invoice is generated, it's not until the period where the payment falls that that salesperson gets paid. Additionally, the period types can be monthly, quarterly, annual, or by financial period. Financial period would be aligning yourself with the GL financial period, the master financial calendar, what you've set up. Now, if we go back to calculate commissions, Acumatica manages its commission periods based on the previous preference screen. In this case, it's monthly. This is showing commissions for the March 2015 period. As you can see, our demo site is pretty behind when it comes to commissions. But you can see here all your salespeople, the documents, the number of transactions, in this case payments that's impacted the commissions, the total commissionable amounts. Some items can be non-commissionable. You could define that and I'll show you that. These are the calculated commissions. And then Acumatica gives you some statistics, average, min, and max of the commission rates. If we go into non-stock items, and we take a look at, for example, consulting, there's a setting here that dictates whether or not this item is commissionable. So if this is unchecked, when this item gets brought into an invoice, It'll also be unchecked, and it will not be considered for calculation of commissions. Additionally, if we look at the customer, so we'll open up a customer called Water. Under Salespersons, you have the ability to define the default salespeople for this particular customer. In this case, we have Jay Parker with a default commission rate of 5%. So anytime an invoice is created with this customer, the same thing applies. This salesperson will be brought in to the line item of the invoice with that commission rate. So now if we create an invoice here, we'll create it for the same customer and we'll add a line item, in this case consulting. We'll say it's 100 hours at a $100 per hour. And if we tab over to the right, you can see the salesperson got pulled in. That's that Jay Parker. That's part of the customer profile. So that got brought in automatically. Also, you can see the commission checkbox because this item is by default commissionable. But you can go through here and make changes. So typical process is when you create your invoices in Acumatica, keep them in the balanced and don't release them until someone in finance or sales has had an opportunity to go through and review the commissions on all of these invoices. Now, if I go over to salesperson commission on this invoice, you can see that the salesperson, salesperson eight, which is Jay Parker, is getting a 5% commission on $10,000 for a calculated amount of $500. But you can come in here and you could change this. Let's say, for example, you want to adjust it to 2.5%. You can do that here, and when you save, you'll see it'll update. Now, this particular invoice won't accrue any commission until it's paid. And in order to pay it, we need to release the invoice. Before we do that, we're stuck on commission period 3, 2015. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my date to 3-2015, and I'm going to release it. Now again, there's no payment here. It's got a full balance of $10,000. 
I can use my actions menu and enter a payment right from here for that $10,000. But I need to backdate this again to the 3-01-2015. Acumatica will pay off commissions based on the payment period we talked about before. So we'll release this. Now, if we were to go over to calculate commissions, open it up in another tab, you could see we're on period three, 2015, and we were to process all commissions. Now, if we review our commission period, you can see Jay Parker has some activity. If we click on the salesperson, you can see all the activity for Jay Parker for this three period. And what you could see here, in addition to all the other invoices that were paid, doc type paid, original doc type invoice, but you could see our $10,000 invoice here to Water PROC. And you can see the total commission amount is $250 from a $10,000 commissionable amount because we changed that commission rate to 2.5%. Now, this commission details screen is available. You can find it on the menu. You can create a favorite out of it. If you were to take off some of the filters, for example, salesperson, you can get all of the information for that commission period. And then you could simply export this to Excel if you wanted to get further details or manipulate the commission report for completion. So that's it. That's sales commissions in Acumatica. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our channel and have a great day.